Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Two days ago, we sprayed out the primer on this car. That was pretty much the last thing you need to do as far as bodywork prep goes. Today, we need to get everything sanded down. So all of the areas that we sprayed this filler primer, it's all gonna be sanded down. I think I'm gonna go 400 grit wet on the block, get it nice and flat. Make sure we do not have any low spots in the whole entire car. And then we may be able to move on to some door jams. So still before we paint the car, we need to prep out the door jams. We gotta pull the doors off, pull all the glass out of everything. We have to prep the whole entire wide body kit, front bumper, rear bumper, side skirts, the wing. We got a lot of work to do before we move on to actual paint, base coat and clear coat. So let's get this party started. Let's grab some 400 on a sanding block, get everything nice and smoothed out and make sure we are good to go. So the whole entire body of the car is sanded down. There will still be a little bit more prep work we're gonna have to do before we start spraying it, but we are ready to move on to the jams and pulling out the windows and doing all that crazy fun stuff. I do need to get someone out here. They're gonna pull this quarter glass, the rear window and the windshield. We can do everything else here. So let's get this thing back in the shop. I'm gonna pull off the doors, fenders. Everything is gonna be sprayed apart. So it'll be just the body and then doors will be sprayed separately fenders, obviously the entire wide body, the side skirts, the hatch, all that will be sprayed off the car just so we can have perfect seamless door jams and make it as best as possible. It's gonna be a little bit more work that way, but I think in the end, it's gonna be well worth it. I did go over it again with some water and let the water sit on there, kind of kind of flattens out and then you can see if you have any low spots or high spots. The roof looks amazing, the rest of the car looks completely perfect. There was one area I missed with primer, so we're gonna have to spray some filler primer on this sanded down area right here and get that all flattened out. Other than that, pretty sure everything else was good to go. So let's get this thing in the shop, get it all torn apart, and we can start working on getting the jams fixed up, scuffed up, and ready for some paint.
Initially, I was not planning on completely tearing down the whole entire door, but one thing led to another, and now we have just a bare shell. Honestly, it took maybe an extra 15 minutes to pull the glass, wiring, all of that off. Should make life a little bit easier. We left the hinges on, the body on the chassis, just so we don't have to do any sort of realignment. But yeah, this is gonna make life so much easier. So we're pretty much gonna paint from this pinch right here, the seam, out. I don't mind if it's black underneath these panels. Don't really care. It's not worth the extra couple hours it would take to prep all that out and spray it. It'd be completely pointless. So one door down, three to go, plus the hatch. Let's get her done. Every single thing except for the rear quarter glass and the windshield, and I guess this cowl right here is off the car. Guess we probably should pull these guys off too. I haven't decided yet if I wanna mask off the stickers and leave the stickers in. I might do that, or I might just peel the stickers off and not have any stickers in the jam. Either way, not a big deal. The only thing we really need to do with the drawer jams, because they are still factory paint, is just grab a red scuff pad, get them all cleaned up, scuffed up, no shiny surfaces on the jams at all, and we should be good to go. I'm thankful that they didn't try to respray the jams because then we'd have a lot of pe peeling clear that we'd have to deal with. So we got this whole passenger side finished up, except for in this area right here. We really need to get this glass out. I've called a few shops and no one's really to do mobile work and clearly the car is not, she's, she's not drivable. I guess that leaves us to trying to do it ourselves. Hopefully this glass is not expensive if we break it. I don't really know another option though. I know Harbor Freight, good old Harbor Freight Special, they have a, a glass removal kit. So it's like some wire and some knives and stuff. So I'm gonna go buy that. I'm gonna attempt it probably on the quarter glass. I think that'd probably be the cheapest. Actually, I'm gonna research it first to find the cheapest glass and then give her hell, see if we can get it out. We have one, two, we have four windows total to remove. So let's go to Harbor Freight, grab some tools, come back, knock it out, and hopefully we don't break nothing. So I bought a windshield removal kit, which has some wire, some little handles, uh, another handle with a knife on it, and then I bought some suction cups. Wish me luck, boys. I ain't never done nothing like this before. Let's give her hell.
took us 28 minutes, but we got the windshield out. I probably would never do this on a car. I am not painting because it was pretty hard with this wire coming up through here. Kind of scuffed it up a little bit, scuffed up our dash a little bit, which that's all gonna be hidden behind the windshield, but still kind of sucks. We did get one little tiny chip in the windshield right when I first started. So I don't know if that's gonna deem it unusable, but it's right on the edge right there. I think it should be okay. Now, where the hell are we gonna put this thing? We got the second window out, rear quarter glass. Molding was already cracked a little bit, so I didn't care to save it, so I kind of just ripped it off, but the glass is still good. Molding you can buy separately. We should be good to go. There's no way I'm gonna put these things back in myself. I'd probably destroy them if they even stayed in for more than 10 feet. So I'll have someone else put them in, but it's nice to know that we can kind of get some of this stuff done here at the shop. I'm gonna get all of this glue cleaned up right here, just with the razor blade and on the windshield as well get all that stuff cleaned up, and we can keep moving on prepping out these jams. So this is where we're at right now. This whole entire side, all the jams are prepped out. This doesn't look the best up in here. I just took a wire wheel to it to try and get all of that glue off of there for the quarter glass. So we went down to bare metal in a few places. Should be all right, doesn't look the best. It doesn't really matter, it's gonna be covered anyway. All the jams are scuffed completely, ready to go. I do need to mask that little Vintag off. And I'm not sure how far up I'm gonna spray, probably to right about here but we still have to do the whole thing for the windshield. We gotta get all that cleaned up. And we still have the whole entire driver's side as well, but this is pretty nutty seeing this entire car torn down. Never gone this far with the build before, like exterior wise. We have about three hours left to work tonight. I initially wanted to get all of the jams done, including on the doors and on the hatch. And speaking of the hatch, I don't think I'm gonna touch that glass myself. From what I understand, this hatch glass is very, very expensive. So if I do indeed crack it, which there's a high possibility that I would, I would uh, not be happy. So I'm gonna leave that to a professional. That'd be easy just to toss in the back of the truck or something, bring it into a shop and they can pull that glass out for me. I think three hours is enough time to get all the jams on the actual chassis finished up. We're not gonna touch the door jams on the actual doors or the fenders or the hatch today but we can get that done tomorrow and then hopefully tomorrow we can move on to some body work or body kit stuff, wide body stuff, I'm trying to say, and maybe work on the bumpers a little bit. That'd be sweet. I don't know when we're gonna get around to painting, hopefully soon. Obviously this is a very, very, very big project, so I'm trying to work as fast as I can but do the best job I can as well. So let's uh, keep moving forward. We need to go ahead and pull out this quarter glass right here. This molding's already broken as well. They're only $12 brand new OEM, so I don't really care. 
um, $20 for both sides. So let's pop that glass out, get all of these jams cleaned up, sand it smooth, scuffed up, and then we need to move on to this hatch area, which is disgusting. I'm sure we're gonna have a few touch-ups left here and there to knock out on these jams, but for the most part, I would say we're like 95% done. Not sure how much down here I'm gonna spray, so I'll probably clean all that up. Honestly, I might just respray the whole section right there. <sighs> what a freaking day, man. If we didn't have that kit to, to fix up and spray, we could probably lay paint tomorrow, but we have a lot of work to do on the wide body, so. That's probably gonna be tomorrow's project. My hands are raw, my hands are numb from freaking sanding all day. Gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out my friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow.